Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, uh, the other day was uh, my birthday, turned another year older, and uh, I received the present from my sister, and uh, the DVD I got from her was Batman the Movie, DC Superheroes Unite. Now, if you know me, if you know of me, uh, even in previous reviews, I have done uh, Lego themed games. I am a bit of a big kid. Lego, you know, when I was a youngster, I did enjoy playing with it. Now the games, I play with them uh, now that I'm an older kid. Uh, big kid at heart, really, you know, and um, yeah, for a small price, you can uh, now buy Batman the Movie, uh, DC Superheroes Unite, and... Uh, not long finished it, it's a lazy Sunday, I thought I'd watch it and uh, yeah, make a review about it really. And uh, the gist of the story is that Lex Luthor wants to be uh, the president. President of the United States, he wants to rule the world and uh, the only way he can do it is by teaming up with the Joker. The Joker is the one who has all the ideas of uh, where to get Kryptonite from. Because Lex Luthor needs to defeat Superman and the only way he can become president is by defeating Superman and teaming up with the Joker to get the Kryptonite which is Superman's weakness and therefore the story unravels that he needs Joker's help and yet the Joker knows how to uh, find Kryptonite. Lex Luthor breaks the Joker out of uh, Arkham Asylum all in Lego form of course uh, Arkham Asylum Lego the whole place is uh, all of Lego. Gotham City is uh, no longer normal clay bricks, it's all Lego bricks now. Uh, Lex Luthor breaks him out using a kryptonite gun. However, the kryptonite gun does not have much uh, juice in it really, should I say. And uh, so this is another reason why he breaks him out. Get more juice for the gun. Kryptonite is how it's powered. All one and one equals two and it all equals up to uh, needing the Joker's help to get Kryptonite. In the process, he doesn't just break out the Joker, but he breaks out other members of the bad DC universe. These people including like Bane, you've got Catwoman, Two-Face, the Penguin, you've got the Riddler, you've got Poison Ivy as well. But then for equal bad guy, you've got an equal good guy. These guys including obviously the main guy, you've got Batman, Superman, you've also got Robin. You've got Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, The Flash, but unfortunately you don't ever really see a big battle royal of all of the good versus evil teams combined and have a big fight. Which is a bit of a shame really. Uh, it is mainly Batman and Superman who are the two that take down the bad team. But it's alright, it's enjoyable, uh, you can get it for a couple of quid. I got mine with a uh, little Superman Clark Kent action figure. Um, so. Yeah, the film's alright, it's pretty cool. It's obviously it's aimed at kids. I'm a big kid. Old school fun of Lego. Uh, I've got Lego games now on the Xbox and on the PS3. Um, but yeah, for just relaxing, chilling, watching it on a bit of a Sunday afternoon, uh, then it's alright, really. If you're a big kid like me, then you'll enjoy it. If you like uh, the DC universe and the comics and anything to do with DC and then I think you'll enjoy this film uh, so that's aimed at you really if you're a fan of Batman in general or if you're a fan of Superman uh, then this one's for you really but big kids alike if you've ever liked Lego then this one's for you really so thanks for watching my pretty quick review of uh, Batman the movie DC Superheroes Unite. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget we the devoted all the links are down below as per usual Use TobyWTD, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted gear, links down below as per usual. But guys, thanks for watching my review of Batman the Movie DC Superheroes Unite. Hope you like it, thanks for watching. Really, this film's aimed at you if you're a big kid, you're a fan of Lego, if you like Batman or Superman, then uh, this one's for you, really. But guys, thanks for watching my review of Batman the Movie DC Superheroes Unite. <laughs>